Yeah. See you later. See you later. Hi, Ed. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Tea or coffee? Hi, Johnny. I will have tea, please. Two sugars? Um, yeah, I'll have that brown sugar if there is any. You're not my dear. So, what's Graham got planned for you today? Nothing new. Usual editing, rearranging, etc, etc. I think, more to the point then, eh? what has he got planned for you? What do you mean? He's not my boss, even if Shona is on holiday. Well, don't quote me on it, but I do believe things have been planned otherwise. There you go. Thanks. Sounds ominous. I'm sure there's nothing you can't handle. Anyway, it's good to see that's all cleared up. What's cleared up? The bruises. Looking immaculate again, eh? Bruises? Johnny, what are you on about? The other week you came in and your face was all covered in bruises. I bruising. think you got me confused with somebody else. No, it was what? definitely you. Hey honestly. guys! <laughs> so, Mandy, you looking forward to working with me? What? Johnny, is this what you were on about before? I can see that Graham's as good as ever at keeping people up to date. Or did you not read your emails yet? I've only just got in. Did you want a cup of tea? Um, no, uh, we'll be shooting off in a second. Have you got your camera on? I don't know, um, maybe, I think I left it here, but I don't know what this is about. No, no, it's fine, we'll take my car. Okay, but I don't know where we're going yet. Well, just have a quick look at your emails and I'll meet you in the car park. Bye, Johnny! Okay, bye. Well, thank you for Good morning, Mandy. Don't worry about knocking. Never mind that. Since when do you give me assignments? <sighs> Obviously not read the email then. If I had a chance to sit down after I got in, I might have done. Instead of got that bloody Cindy telling me what to do as soon as I get in. Look, Shona's going to be off for some time. I know that. She has given me things to do in her absence. If you let me finish, Shona's going to be off for a lot longer than she originally planned. So you and Emma will be working directly under me in the meantime. Got other things to do. Look, I'm sure you'll be able to manage your other things just fine. But we had to book this free runner bloke over a month ago for this article, and Cindy's cameraman did his back in or something over the weekend, so we'll have to use you. The long and short of it is, there is no one else, and you have to do it, okay? I just. Okay? Good. Now I think Cindy said something about an early start, so. She's all right. Did you see me looking in? Did you just come straight past me? No, of course not. Come on, Mandy, we need to go. I was just seeing what this was all about. I told you I'd brief you on the way. Now come on. I hear that Stefan doesn't like to be kept waiting. All right, all right, I'm coming. If anyone sees Nick, tell him to get a move on. Fancy meeting you here. Um, hi. Mandy, isn't it? Yeah. It's me, Kelly. 
We used to live nearby. We went to the same school. But not in the same class. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why do I feel like I've had this conversation before? <laughs> we did. It was when you did a photo shoot for me a few years back. Oh, yeah. Was that for your um, kids? Yeah, my boys. <laughs> you don't mind if I join you, do you? Oh, no. Go ahead. I haven't been in this pub before. I don't really get to go in any pubs these days with the kids and whatnot, but my friend Jackie recommended it, you know, for lunch. Oh, it's really cozy in here, isn't it? Oh, apparently the food is so good. Although, um, it's never quite the same eating alone, is it? <laughs> oh, um, I suppose not. Oh, oh, fancy seeing you again after all this time, Mandy. Oh, you made Cliff and Timmy feel so comfortable during their photo shoot. We've got some great photos with your lights and everything. So professional. Oh, yeah, um, you're the one with the sheepskin rug, right? Yeah, oh, of course, I had to get rid of it in the end. Too many muddy footprints. Still, that moment you managed to get my little buggers to sit still on it for five minutes will always be there. Gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. Oh, hey, have you got a website and all that? Are you still freelancing? Huh. Like, if you need any work, I'm happy to share your stuff. I'm sure other mums would be really interested. That's really nice. Um, I don't actually have a website or social media. Wait, what? <laughs> You're winding me up. I, I get on fine without it, but um, I am working for a web team. But how do you do anything? Um. I go to work, I take pictures, I watch films, I just don't tell everyone about it online. Isn't that weird? Well, it's annoying when everyone's glued to their phones, but I'm okay. Okay, wait. Didn't you say you worked on the web? Yeah, for a web team. So don't they need you to like go online and... Yeah, only at work, but my boss is really cool. She's not that bothered about online presence as long as I give her the photos and videos. Oh, well, sounds perfect. Yeah. I bet money's good. Uh, yeah, well, it pays the bills. So uh, this web zine, web magazine, is it anything I'd have heard of? It's um, it's the magazine, T-H-E. Um, it's a cheesy name, but do all right. And... Sorry, am I boring you? Well, the food might be bloody wonderful in here, but I won't know until I get some service around here. We're like, where's the barman? Uh, no need to shout, I'm sure they're not far. Yeah, well, this place won't be getting any rave reviews from me at this rate. Oh, and don't worry, sweetie, I was listening, so, um, T-H-E, 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 I know it, Truly Something Something magazine, that one. Yeah, Truly Hedonistic Entertainment magazine, yeah. Uh, hedonistic. What? Uh, not hedonistic, it's pronounced hedonistic. Maybe in America, but I'm pretty sure it's hedonistic here. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, can you watch my stuff? I'm gonna go and see if I can find the barman. Yeah, sure. Do you want anything? No, I'm fine, thank you. Are you sure? What was that? <laughs> Uh, just Spanish lager, but really not. Spanish lager it is then! Honestly, you don't have to. It's fine. It's fine. Look, if you're that bothered, you can buy me a drink afterwards. It's not as if I have to worry about you posting pics of me pissed online, do I? <laughs> oh, anyway, I've still got that gorgeous picture you took hanging up in my living room. Thanks. Oh. And in the meantime, here's a pronunciation that definitely is English. What's that? Harassment. Don't you mean harassment? Ha! <laughs> see? Everyone thinks it's that. I'll see you in a second, sweetie. Sweetie. Hello, Barman! Oh, this is ridiculous. Come on, hello? Hello, can anyone hear me?
Mandy, you know Nick? Panic. You all right? Mandy will be replacing Josh today. Wait, but you're a woman. Uh, and? <laughs> Don't be bloody sexist, Nick. He's new to the team, and apparently still needs some diversity training if we're going to keep him employed here. Sounds like you'll get along just fine in our workplace, then. Hang on, Cindy. You saying I might not be kept on? Well, we'll see. Anyway, you'll be driving us to the harbour side to meet Stephen. But I don't... You can drive. Well, yeah. And you put yourself down as a potential driver when you applied for this job? I think so. So... You can drive. Cheers. I guess. Sorry. Bloody hell, Nick! <laughs> Is that it? What? It's a DSLR, so it'll do just fine. What, you on Cindy's team now, then? Well, like I said, Mandy's just filling in for Josh today. It's the first time we've worked together. Exciting, <laughs> isn't it? <sighs> Maybe if all goes well, we'll work together on other projects. Mmm, can't wait. So I take it Nick will be doing the sound, then? Uh... I could. I went to uni, did media's degree. Ooh. Haven't you got a built-in microphone on the camera? Josh usually has it all inclusive on his setup. Yeah, there's a little one, but if we're going to be outside, then, you know, we're going to need one that's close to, um, Stephen? Oh, Stefan. Well, close to Stefan, so that, yeah, when we're doing the parkour stuff, it'll be better sound. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm sure we'll figure something out, even just putting music over the whole thing. Uh... You can't put music over an interview. I mean, I assume we're interviewing him as well as just filming him, right? Bloody hell, will you two stop ganging up on me? Look, I can sort all this out. Just get out the car. Come on, out! I thought you said we were in a hurry. No, get out of the car now. Josh and Dave left some equipment in the back, and Josh is supposed to pick it up at the end of the day, obviously before he very inconsiderately hurt his back. Okay, let's have a look. Look, there's a boom mic. Are you familiar with this type of sound equipment, Mandy? Or do you know how to use it, Nick? Uh, yeah, I use something similar at uni. <laughs> PE didn't just bring us video camera as well, eh? <laughs> Mine'll be fine. Yeah, whatever. Just as long as we got batteries. What's this? Oh, nice. <laughs> We can use these microphones during the interview. Mind if you set them up whilst I drive? Yeah, I've used these before. Look, are we done here? Just get we need to set up and let's go. I don't want to be late meeting Stefan. Not really, but I wouldn't mind seeing him again. Ooh, this sounds much more interesting than Roger's ask for Lucian. Okay, well, to tell you about him, I kind of have to tell you about someone who's not that far off the description himself. Come on then, sweetie, let's hear it.
Good to talk to us? No, I just, I just gotta go. So. Ignorant, aren't you? No, I just don't know you, and I just. Nicely. How many you didn't shake his hand? Well, I didn't want to look rude, and like he said, ignorant. Never mind rude, stay clear, sweetie. Don't beg for change, make friends or whatever with someone else. Well... It's like... Okay, so what happened next? Mandy, nice to meet you, Lee. Yeah, really? Ow. Nice. Very nice. Ow, you're hurting me. Oh, well, you're hurting me. Ow. Chill out, Just talk. Ow. What? Get on, please. What's the matter? He just wouldn't let go. Oh, Mandy. I know, I know, it was stupid. But then, this guy came over. Oh, we're just get talking, off isn't me, it? Get oh, off me! Oh, you stupid bitch! Oh, right. Ow! Oh, piss off, mate! Mind your own. Oh, God. Ah! I'll have you later. If I had a fucking weapon, you'd be dead. Leave us alone, mate. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know, fantastic. But I fell down too, and he just pulled me straight back. Ooh, strong, eh? Yeah. So, obviously, you didn't add him online anywhere, but did you get his, like, details, number, or anything? Not exactly, but I did find out his name, Sean. And? And I haven't seen him since. Oh, my God, that's so heartbreaking. <sighs> But I might bump into him again. I hate to break it to you, Mandy, but this ain't no fairy tale. You just let your knight in shining armour disappear because you didn't add him on Facebook right after he defeated the evil villain. Well, but hey, <laughs> like you say, you might bump into him again. I mean, Bristol's not that big. Yeah, sure. Oh no, is that the time? Have we been here that long? I've got to pick up the boys from school. What? Well, duh, your number, Mandy. <laughs> this lunch date definitely needs to be drunk and continued. Type in those digits. <gasps> there you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's lovely seeing you again, Mandy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll catch up soon, yeah? <laughs>
go away. Well, this is getting boring quickly. Wait, they didn't even say green, did they? I don't think they did. No, it's just a waste of time. You okay there, Nick? Uh, well, I could do with a hand. Well, go on, help him out, Mandy. Let's try and work as a team, shall we? Yes, boss. Stefan! Hi! Hi! Cindy, right? <laughs> yes, we're our members. Um, I'll be interviewing you today, and this is Nick and Amanda who'll be there helping with the recording. Hi. Are you two alright there? Do you need a hand with anything? Oh, well, uh, we are oh, fine. Wouldn't dream of asking Stefan to carry that equipment, would we? I don't mind. No, it's fine. It comes with the territory. If you say so. If the three of you can manage. Oh, uh, of course. I was just about to grab something. <laughs> so, what's the plan? Interview first and then an hour of some parkour? Mm, whichever, really. If you want to um, warm up with some free running first and then relax with an interview afterwards, that's fine with me. Oh, we started already. No, we have not. Sorry, it was just a really nice shot with the builders behind. I didn't want to miss an opportunity. Ah, professional. Can you look up at those buildings for me? Cool. Yeah, it's great. Well, um, what I was thinking was... Um, um, it's probably best if we get some photos done and interview first, because I'll be all sweaty once we run around for a bit. Mm, that could look good. Full of energy and vigour and... And uh, bloody knackered. Uh, uh, so what's the best place to shoot the interview? Amanda? Um, preferably somewhere shady. I mean, that way, if the sunlight changes, the light won't actually change too much. Uh, up there will be away from everyone walking. Oh, yeah. Good idea, Nick. Then we can get the boats in the background. Okay, let's do this. Nick. Don't be silly, Nick. There's only one parkour runner here today, and it's not you. <sighs> Such an idiot. Wait a minute.
Okay, folks, that was Demons by the lovely Dushika. At the time of recording the song, Dushika was experiencing major harassment from one of her fans, <laughs> forcing her to get an injunction against him. Whether that influenced the subject of Demons, who's to say? One thing's for sure, whatever the history of the song, it certainly cast a spell over the listener, and I must say I'm very much a fan. Blocked. This is their latest single, Riot Song. Basically, that's how I got into it all. Wow, that is so interesting. Can we see a bit of what you've learnt in action? Sure thing. Okay, and can you say that again? I'm just going to move in closer and you can give like a cheeky wink or something. <laughs> Are we still recording? Yeah, I've just left it running. Freely. Yes. And five, four. <laughs> wow, that is so interesting. Can we see a bit of what you've learned in action? Sure thing. Okay, and cut. That was great, Stefan. Um, can we have that all again, please? What, the whole thing again from this angle? No, of course not. Just that last answer again with more, how should I say, gravitas. So, no, you Exactly. Let's see the serious side of stuff, considering all of the skills you've obtained over the years. If you say so. <laughs> wow. Well, when you two are ready. Yes, boss. <clears throat> and five. Wow, that's so interesting. Can we see a bit of what you've learned in action? Sure thing. Okay, can you look at Cindy and say that? Sure thing. And cut! Mandy, I couldn't help but notice you were quite close on Stefan throughout the whole interview. Well, of course, yeah, he's the subject of the interview. So I'm not in shot at all? We don't usually have the interviewer in the shot. <laughs> but you must have seen my videos on the website. Um, no, I can't say how. Yeah, me neither. Well, if either of you had bothered to check, you'd see that I'm always on the screen with the interviewee. Right after an intro from me, facing the camera, centre shot. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I am not doing the whole interview again because of whatever ego issues you might have, right? <laughs> I didn't mean them. Um... Can we just crack on with the footage of me doing my bit, yeah? Yeah, I think it's best that we just use Stefan while we have him, and then we can always film you later doing the questions and we can put it back to back. Yeah, I mean, you did a good job of leaving gaps in between each answer, Cindy, so we can just put your questions in after. Thank you for your condescension, Nick. But you're right, we don't have Stephanie here all day, so let's crack on with it, shall we? Wait, Cindy.
Who's this? It's me, Kelly! Oh, hi Kelly. You alright? It's been a little while. Yeah, everything's fine. You? Apart from your lack of internet, I'm great. I swear I would have sent you a thousand messages by now if you were online. Well, you could have, um, you could have texted. Oh, texting's not the same. If you say so. I do say so. There's a local band that I've really got into lately and I've been dying to show you them. Roger can't stand them even though I think they're great. He'd probably rather listen to Muse or, I don't know, Bloody Guns and Roses or something. But it's not as if they're going to be playing in Bristol now, is it? I'm pretty sure Muse did play in Bristol. One of our cameramen went to um, Ashton Gate. Yeah, 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 whatever. Anyway, this band, some villains that I'm into, are playing in the Mother's Ruin. Where? Mother's Ruin. Roger says it's some little pub round the corner from Bristol Bridge. By St. Nick's Market? But why are They're you- They're playing on some stage in the basement in there. Roger won't go with me. Which is good because it means we won't need a babysitter, but it's also bad because it means I've got no one to go with. I'll go with you. No one I know likes anything unless it's pop music played on the radio. Yes. And you're like really cool and young and exciting. Kelly, and stop talking. And... What? I said I'd go with you. You will? That's great. Of course, no problem. You could bring your camera and maybe get some photos for your magazine. Sorry, the magazine. I don't really take my camera to live gigs. It's, it's a bit too dark. I'll just, I don't know, use a flash or something. I'm sure the photos will be great if you're taking them. Well. I've had a look on THE Magazine's website since I saw you and all your photos are great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I really like the graffiti ones. I think they prefer to call it street art. Street art, graffiti, whatever. It was so sad to hear that most of those gorgeous pictures are now painted over. Yeah, it's pretty high turnaround, especially in um, Stockcroft. But thanks to you, we can still see it afterwards. Like with my boys. We all have memories, but a photo, well... A photo captures a moment and keeps it forever. Doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> Ooh, it's so great you've agreed to come. I'll text you the details. Gotta go now. But wait, what? in the video from the start. I told you, we don't normally have the interviewer in shot. You didn't tell me that until after you'd filmed all of Stefan's stuff. We filmed you afterwards anyway. Oh, what? It started raining, yeah? Stop. It's not Amanda's fault, it started raining. It's you! I've had enough of your smart little remarks today. You felt from picking on it. We both tried to accommodate your needs to be on camera. It was bad timing. You certainly had plenty of time, Stefan. The interview is about Stefan. Well, you were certainly all about Stefan. What the fuck? Come on now. Oh, Stefan, let me just come over here and get a better look at your muscles. Stefan! I was filming him. Actually, Cindy, you were. What? I was what? Don't look at her. Look at me and tell me what I was supposedly doing. Well, just give him a break here, Cindy. Just Trust you to be on Mandy's side. FYI, they have been belittling me and ganging up on me all day. It's trying to make you look like, like some sort of idiot. We have not. It's 
The truth is. You bitch! Oh, don't touch me! Oh. <laughs> She started, I I'll get to the bottom of this, Johnny. I'll ask for your opinion when I need it. It's Mandy. Oh, hello, Amanda. So, you decided to get in contact then, eh? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. More than a while, I reckon. So, in some kind of trouble, are you? What do you need? Money? What? No. No, I just wanted someone to talk to. Running short of friends again, are we, Mandy? God. I can't call my own mother without you making some big issue out of it. You can call whenever you like, my dear, but, well, we both know you never do. So, sorry for coming to the, uh, conclusion that you're in some kind of trouble and you don't have no one else to go to. Okay. Sorry I've not called in a while. A while, she says. Oh, so after being blessed with this phone call, does this mean I'll have the joy of seeing the person too? I can come round. It'd be nice to see you. But actually, I'm getting a bit worked up about these texts I keep getting. I, I don't know who they're from. What? Is this one of those social media things youngsters do that I read about in the paper all the time? Mobile phone texts, Mum. God, you're not that old. All right, all right. Mobile phone texts. No need to shout at your mother during the first time you call her in years. Years? What? 
Anyway, they're anonymous and they just say really nasty things. What kind of things? Do you really have to tell me about this? Well, it's about you and... I'm really sorry, this was a bad idea, right? I shouldn't have called. Yeah, well, you did, Mandy. And if these texts of yours are about me, then get to it. Let's have the details. They say that... They say things about you and about... Dad and... Come on. You wanted to tell us to tell us. They said that Dad's a... Ah, spit it out. They say that Dad's a pedophile. Well, we both know that's not the case, don't we? Yeah, of course we do, but... We'll be saying such horrible things. The only person that I know who would say such disgusting things will never be saying things like that again, will they? What? Who? Come on, you know who I mean. God, if you're going to be so fucking unhelpful, then I'll go I'll go and see Dad, and then I'll... Oh, fine. You okay to sit down? I'll get some drinks in. Yeah, I'll live. Oh, please, let me get this. Don't worry about it. No, I want to. I insist. What? Um, lager? Whatever. Mm. Whatever lager then. Hiya. Take my lager. Mm -hmm. Hope she's away. Poor lady, she looks in a bad way. Yeah, there you go. Mandy, wasn't it? What? Sorry, yeah. Um, sorry, what was your name? This Mel. Don't worry. With what you've obviously been through, I'm sure I'm the last thing you'd be bothered about remembering. Sorry, I just don't want to seem ungrateful. I don't worry about it. So, uh, what was their problem anyway? This, uh, what was his name again? Lee? Um, I don't know. He'd been drinking and then he came over to me while I was looking at the elephant. What did he want? God knows. He, he said that I was ignorant and then he started getting really aggressive when I shook his hand. You shook his hand? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to seem rude. Never mind rude. Look at what he did to you. Well. Hey, it isn't your fault. He was obviously some kind of weirdo lunatic. Look, I know it, it was stupid, but then he, I just couldn't get him off me. And then he started hitting me and he hit me. Well, he's long gone No, I certainly didn't see any sign of a twat when I came along. Yeah, I think someone scared him off. Cool. Although, well, pity it wasn't a bit sooner, eh? Yeah. Did you see who it was? Uh, sort of. He, he seemed like a nice guy. Well, he didn't come back to make sure you were all right, did he? Couldn't have been that nice. Oh, no. You, you don't think that Lee got him, do you? No. Uh, I'm sure he just, like, you know, uh, Probably saw me find you from no. a distance and got no, nervous no, no, Mel, no. He's uh, he's probably got him right now and he's he's beating him up and I'm just sat here relaxing. You're hardly relaxing, are you? L look, if it makes you feel better, I'll go check out the park. No, see if what if he gets about. you too? I'll have this ready on nine 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 in case I see anything at all. <sighs> probably should have called them in the first place. No, I don't want to speak. Anyway, give me your number and I'll let you know as soon as I see anything or even if I see nothing and I'm just on the way back, okay?
you'll hear from me real soon. I promise. Wait! Hi Mandy, how's it going? Oh, not too bad. Just wish that if people were going to use my desk, they could at least clean it up, you know. Well, you know how people can be, inconsiderate and all that. So, uh, you okay? Yeah, sure. You? <laughs> I can play my normal listen, right? So, um, what are you going to be working on today? Oh, I've got a few things. I've got to finish that parkour thing I had to do for Graham. I need to check through Cindy's article to make sure the picture fits and the video's all done. Parkour, that's a free running thing, isn't it? Sorry, Johnny, what? Parkour, is that running, the free running thing, isn't it? So it's on your rooftops and all that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. You want one? Ah, uh, no. I have one of those green teas, though. I'll change your diet since I was scared the other week. What happened? I must have been off. Oh, it was full ambulance. Why was going to have a heart attack? Oh my god, Johnny, are you okay? <laughs> god, you shouldn't be here. You should be at home resting. Well, like I said, it was full ambulance, but it was just a scare because of the old blood pressure. Well, yeah, still. Do you want sugar? Uh, nah, can't have any extra sugar or salt nonsense anymore. Got to keep an eye on things now. So, you're okay to be at work then? Thanks. Um, yeah. So, Cindy's, you okay to be back too? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll, um, I'll see you later, yeah? So, you're back? Yeah, the video's all done. What's that look for? <sighs> Nothing. So, what have you got plans there? I don't think Joan is in. Well, I've got the pictures and the video's all edited, so now I just need to check Cindy's article. You mean the article with Stefan? Yeah, of course. Wait a sec, let me check my emails. I'm sure she sent me something. Mandy, I know you haven't been here for a while, but surely you must remember. Shh, wait! This makes no sense. Thank you. 
what's going to happen next then, eh? Yeah, Rose has money to take portions over, but I don't know. Just going for a hour. Just going for a hour. Listen, you're not going to find anything from Cindy on there. Why? What's happened? Wow, you really don't remember, do you? Remember what? Nick, you're freaking me out. Don't, don't you check your emails at home anyway? No, I, I can't. I, I haven't got Wi-Fi. Look, what don't I remember?
Is it with Come on, what have you got to lose?
Hey. You do know that things aren't quite right, don't you? What? I said, you do know that- I heard what you said. This doesn't matter anyway. Oh, and why is that? Well, duh. I'm obviously still asleep. Oh, so you need to be awake to analyse yourself? Well, no, but I'm sure it helps. I'm sure it does. After all, most people forget most of their dreams. Whatever. What's your point? Just the question. You do know that things aren't quite right. Aren't quite right? Where? In my head? <laughs> in my dreams or <laughs> generally in reality? Who's to say, Mandy? <laughs> Who's to say? Awake? Asleep? What do we know? Well, you're just my reflection, so <laughs> I know what you know. <laughs> And you're talking to yourself like a weirdo. <laughs> so, Mandy, you're back. I thought that you were going to let me know that you were just come back. Hi, Graham. Well? Well what? Sorry. I know I've had more than a few days off to work on the video, but Sean is usually okay with that. Really, Mandy? And this video, it's one you've been working on recently? Well, yeah, it's the parkour one, the one that you asked me and Cindy to do. But... Oh, of course, how can I forget? So, what's left to do? on this highly recent article of ours. Well, I've got the pictures to do and the video to upload. Upload it. Works from home, but no internet at home. Look, Graham, Sean has never had a problem with that before. Do the honours, will you? Let's have a look at your article, Nick. Thank you. Well, Nick was just helping his Cindy's article. Let's take a look, shall we? Uh, do you mind? No. Oh. But I, I don't... Graham. And he clearly has some kind of problem. So, this video not good enough, eh? How did you get that? That's my video. Yes, the video you added to Nick's article. No, I'd remember. Three weeks ago. That's impossible. I'd remember if I'd done something like that. I'd certainly hope so. After all, everyone in this bloody office remembers that morning. What? How? I don't understand. How did you get this footage already? Despite you and Cindy going at it again, thanks to Nick here, we managed to finish the article. Don't you remember? No, I don't understand. We we had a few differences on the day, but me and Cindy got on okay. Yeah, well that's what I thought after stupidly letting her come back to work on your say-so. After she was slapping you about. What the hell are you talking about? Why do you think Shona and I let you take so long off sick? I was just working away for a while. Jesus, you don't remember, do you? There's nothing to remember, I just I need to finish this article. Nick's already finished it. And you don't have to worry about that crap with Cindy anymore. She left after that last shouting match. Shouting? Whether it was true or not, you know I'm never going to allow any kind of harassment to take place in this office or outside of it. So I was happy to let her go. Harassment. What? It's pronounced harassment. You're not ready to return yet, are you, Mandy? Just let me know when you are, yeah?
Andy. Come give us a cuddle. Okay, but no tickling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tad, you're looking really well. Well, you're not supposed to tell me, but come closer. I overheard the doctors talking when they thought I was asleep. Not a hundred percent yet. They think the operation was a success. You got rid of that evil thing inside of me. Wow, that's great, Dad. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm only messing about. Come and sit next to your old man. Tom, when do you think you'll be out? Soon. It's good, isn't it? It's great, Dad. I'm glad you feel that way, sweetheart. It'd be good to get home again. It'll be good to have you back. And I promise I'll be a really good girl this time. I'm sure you will, Mandy. I'm sure you will. Now, you run along now and uh, see your mother. You'll both be seeing me real soon. That's great, Daddy, but Mummy's not here. Sure she is. You're not going to tell me you came all the way up to the hospital by yourself now? Mummy didn't want to... Come on, up you get. I'm sure she's waiting just outside. Go and have a look. But Dad... Go on, Mandy. Dad! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. It's Miss Stone, isn't it? Amanda? Uh, Mandy, yeah. Um, I just came to... You're here to see your father then, no? Yeah, I was just talking to him then. Oh, let's sit down, Amanda, shall we? But my dad, he, he was just here. You don't remember me, do you? What? This isn't the first time you've come in here looking for your father, Amanda. I would have hoped you'd be getting some treatment by now for your condition, but you obviously are not. Now, I'm not sure if what I'm about to say will stick this time. It looks like it didn't last time. But we can only hope, can't we? The thing is, Your father has passed away.
on the table, and we don't want that 4G signal messing up our brains now, do we? <laughs> Is this? Oh, come on, Mandy. You're not stupid. We might have lost the plot, but that doesn't mean we're idiots. No, I'm not hearing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except you are hearing us, aren't you? Um, am I insane? Hey, that's a good one. Yeah, maybe we can be insane. Proper batshit mental this time. This time? Run through the streets naked. Talk utter nonsense. Let the homeless stay in our home. Give all our money to strangers. Go absolutely do lally until our nearest and dearest sticks us in the nut house. Stop it. Away. Oh, that won't work because we've got no nearest and dearest, do we? Mm, maybe we can get proper treatment this time. Instead of getting rid of everyone, one memory at a time. I don't understand. Does that mean all of this was for nothing? All of what? Oh, I'm not going to spell it out for you, Mandy. We are not stupid. But we are a little bit crazy. So, the texts? Oh, come on, Mandy. What do you think this is, some big realisation? It was me texting myself all along. We might as well just go one better and say that it was all just a dream. But, but then, who? How the hell do we know? Maybe you can just invent who's winding you up. Make it all up in your head again like you did with that Sean bloke. But... Sean was real. He saved me. Really? And what about Mel, then? No. Sean... He scared Lee off. We may have told Mel that, but the guy who ran off after Lee didn't actually say one word to us. Not as if there even was a bloke. So how would we even know his name? No, I, I remember. Remember? <laughs> remember? Fucking hell, Mandy. <laughs> Lee probably got scared and ran off after he realised what he'd done to you. Anyway, that is not the point. So what is the point of all this? Oh, Mandy. What's our dad's name? Um, uh, Mr. Mr. Stone? Really, Mandy? Really? Do we really call our dad Mr. Stone? His dad is just dad. His name is Sean, you stupid bitch. No. Yes. No. Yes. Sean. Shawnee. Sean. Dad, 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 oh daddy, please save me from a nasty man. Stop it! Help me, Sean, help me, dad. No! Oh, wait, our dad's dead, isn't he? Shh, sure, shut up! That memory's a bit painful. I think we'd better suppress that one again. No, oh, stop it, stop it! Uh, Monday. <laughs> That's not going to work now, is it? Stop it. it. Shut up! Come on now. Stop it! Do you really think that our voice is coming out of this phone? <sighs> I think it's safe to say that the battery ran out of this thing.
good that we're finally doing this. Doing what? Becoming schizophrenic. <laughs> Confronting things. Having a look at how things are and why they're like that. Things are fine. Things were fine. Everything's fine. I don't need to analyse everything. You're right. We don't need to. But maybe if we did, there could be more to life than taking photos and videos. Maybe you could have friends. What's wrong with taking photos? Uh, a photo captures a moment and keeps it forever. But Mandy, who's going to see these photographs? And lots of people and the ones in the magazine. I think it's safe to say that we don't work there anymore. I'm not going online again. You can't keep hiding from- Yes, I can. We're always here, Mandy. And I'm going to shut my eyes and then when I open them again, you're going to be gone because- Because, well, because you were never here and, it, and you aren't here and you never happened and I don't need help because everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine.